This is High School Sports Talk presented by VirginiaPreps.com on ESPN Radio 94.1. Back here on High School Sports Talk, presented by VirginiaPreps.com on ESPN Radio 94.1. Matt Hatfield with you. we got Lynn Burke filling in for the coach, Ed Young. And uh, at this time, we have a special guest on the line, Lynn. We think he is the active wins leader in the Hampton Roads area, we dare say the state, for girls or boys basketball. He's uh, had a great career, a Hall of Fame level career from his days uh, coaching at First Colonial in Salem and now back at Bishop Sullivan again. We welcome Coach Larry Bowman of the Bishop Sullivan Girls Program. Coach, how you doing? Happy holidays and a happy new year to you. Well, happy new year to you guys. Uh, Appreciate you having me on. Uh, No question. We enjoy having you on the program. And before we get to matters that really matter with basketball on your team playing today, in fact, over at the Boo Williams Sportsplex, the Booplex as we call it, Coach Young is not here. His mom passed away, but we got Lynn filling in. And I know I'd be remiss if I didn't bring it up. We asked coaches last week their favorite Christmas movie. And for those that don't know, yours <laughs> is Love Actually. <laughs> well, it is. You know, I just, uh, me and my wife enjoy uh, watching that every year. It's, uh, it, it's a nice little Christmas movie. So we, uh, we try to always make it a tradition to watch that every year. Now, I don't want to speak too much for Ed, but I've been you know, browsing the TV. And mine's a Christmas story. And I, I noticed the other day when they had the marathon on TBS and TNT, it came on after it. And I've watched a couple of moments of it. In fact, Ed, I believe, told me he, he sat there and watched about halfway through it. And then he got a couple of phone calls from one of his coaches and it took him off. And he says, I got to watch it in that movie. Larry says it's a good one. I was kind of getting into it. But uh, I've not sat down and watched it fully yet, uh, Larry. But Lynn said he and the wife, they've got it on the agenda. At well, some good. point, yeah. Lynn, you'll enjoy it. It's uh, it's good. Your wife will probably enjoy it more than you, but it's a good movie. Well, let's put it this way. When I left home, she was still watching the Hallmark Christmas movies that she has DVR. <laughs> Sounds like my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get into it about your team. Uh, team is playing pretty well. You've had some good competition. Uh, what's this tournament over there at the Bootplex do for your squad as you go into 2019? Uh, it's terrific. You know, we, uh, you know, we tried to... to make a tough schedule here in December so we could uh, you know, kind of prepare this team for conference play and uh, playing in this tournament. We've had two nail biters. Uh, we beat Phoebus uh, by two on Thursday night, and then we won an overtime by two last night. So we've had two terrific games over there, and uh, today is going to be a real battle against a very good uh, Atley team from Richmond. Coach, what do you know about Atley? How do, they match, how do you match up with them? Well, I think we match up well with them. They're uh, they're really similar to us. They, uh, you know, they run a lot of a lot of sets, and they uh, they look like they're, uh, you know, they've got good fundamentals. So they're, they're gonna, it's going to be a good one, I think. Uh, of course, you never know until you get out on the court. But uh, uh, you know, we saw them a little bit last night. We didn't see them the night before, but we saw them a little bit last night against Churchland, and uh, uh, they beat a good a good athletic Churchland team. So uh, it, it's going to be a battle. It's got to help your girls, too, down the stretch to play those two really, really close games so they've got some experience in, in close ones so far. Oh, absolutely. That's, uh, you know, we've had, uh, we, we've had uh, two overtime games now that we've won, and, uh, you know, we, we just want to prepare for conference play. That's really what our season is, is all about. Uh, you know, we're finally back in the TCIS after, uh, I guess, a couple of years out, maybe, maybe three, and uh, it's, it's good to be back in and uh, – you know, our girls have an opportunity now to compete for a, a conference championship, a opportunity to maybe get some individual honors in the conference, which they haven't had for the last few years. So uh, they deserve it. They're, we we got great kids on our team and really work hard. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, January and February. Have you noticed a, a difference in, in the way your kids are approaching things since they are, like you say, back in the TCIS and now have goals to play for? Well, you know what? I don't think they've it's hit them yet because you know we haven't played any conference games yet, and I, I, I think they're just focusing on. We try to get them to just focus on the next game, and uh, right now uh, I don't think that that's hit them yet. But uh, at least they don't talk about it. So, uh, but I think once we start uh, next week or the, I guess the week after next, uh, you know, they'll understand the importance of it. Yeah, I was looking at your schedule. You start off, I think January eighth against Norfolk Christian. That starts the the, the, right. the month and a half run of, of uh, TCIS games. Right. And uh, we're, we're really looking forward to that. Uh, I know the coaching staff is uh, 
we feel like we have the opportunity maybe to compete for a championship. Uh, you know, there's some good teams in the league, but, uh, you know, we played a lot of them last year. We didn't play them all. Uh, and, uh, you know, we didn't get the job last year till about the middle of October. So we didn't really have the time to prepare our team for a, for a full season of play. Uh, this year we had, you know, March to November, which is an important, important time of the year for us. And, uh, we were able to do a lot of things to get this team much more prepared. And, uh, uh, I think uh, we, we we have the we have the opportunity anyway to compete for a championship. Uh, of course, when you play every team only one time, uh, anything can happen. So you never know. Yeah, it's it's uh, you used in some conferences to play the double round robin just to play everybody once. Though you get, you've got one chance at them. Right. You know, you get a, you have a kid sick or a kid hurt or just the chips don't fall right that night. Uh, it. it it could result in something you don't want, but uh, it's the same for everybody. So uh, we'll just approach it one game at a time and see how it goes. Can you go through some of our, some of your personnel for us? Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, we, we start two seniors, uh, uh, Tisha Cahies, who's uh, I think she was first team all state field hockey player. And, and she's, uh, she's really the engine that makes our team go. She's our point guard. Uh, you know, I, she may be our leading scorer. We've got five kids that can score at any time. So uh, we, we have different leading scorers every game. But uh, she might be our leading scorer. But, uh, you know, she, she handles the ball. She gets us in our offense. Uh, she's uh, quick as lightning, one of the quickest players I've ever coached. And uh, she's a good one. Uh, she's a junior. So we'll have her again next year. Uh, Vicki Santana uh, plays 100% all the time. You know, had a big night Thursday night against Phoebus, scored 19. Uh, last night, she had two big steals at the end of the game. We were down six last night with about a minute and a half left, and we managed to tie it uh, to get it into overtime. And she had two big steals in that last two minutes uh, that resulted in uh, in baskets for us that, that let us tie it. So, you know, I think our kids are understanding that you don't have to score a lot of points to really contribute to the team. And, I think once kids understand that, that if they rebound or get some steals or, you know, play really good defense, that, that they're contributing just as much as, as players who score. So Vicky does a, a great job with that. And our other senior, Annabelle Smith, terrific three-point shooter. Uh, last year, I think she had almost 73s for the season. Uh, this year, she's kind of in a little shooting slump, but uh, she hit two big ones in the fourth quarter last night. Uh, again, that got us right back in the game. and uh, She's uh, one of the best shooters I've coached from the three-point line. She can really knock it down. We're looking for her to, to really come out of this slump and uh, have some big games down the road. Which, uh, and, go ahead, Coach. Sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I was going to talk about Bryn Matthews. Yeah. Uh, Bryn is a, is a junior uh, post player. She's almost six feet tall. And, uh, you know, Coach, are you there? Did we lose you? I don't think we, we got, may have got disconnected or something there. Let's see if we can uh, dial him back up there, Thomas. We, we lost him for, for a brief second there. I, like you, Lynn, went right for my headphones thinking it went out for a second, but that looks like that was on him, not us. So, um, we will try to reconnect there with uh, Larry Bowman. He was telling us about one of his key players in Bryn Matthews who had the layup at the buzzer to lift them in their overtime win in the Blue Bracket semifinal over John Paul the Great by a count of 38-36 to 36 in the uh, Boo Williams Sportsplex, the Holiday Classic Championship uh, tournament there. They played tonight at 7.30 p.m. against Atley. Matthews had 13 points and five blocks, while Atisha Kahi, who he mentioned as well, Lynn had seven assists. So uh, we'll get him down back up. He has mentioned some of the key players with uh, Tisha and others and was talking about Bren, a six-foot-tall post player for them. And we'll get to uh, Coach Bowman's Great win total. It's high school sports talk presented by virginiapreps.com on ESPN Radio 94 point. Just the uh, modern technology we have sometimes does that. It sometimes <laughs> computers are great, and then when they glitch, they glitch. As much as we complain about them, where would we be without them? So uh, I think we have Coach Bowman uh, back on the line. As we mentioned, Bryn Matthews had the layup at the buzzer yesterday in their OT win in the Blue Bracket semis over John Paul the Great. And he was telling us about Bryn Matthews, 13 points, five blocks yesterday. Coach, uh, let's uh, pick it back up there. You mentioned Bryn, right? Yeah, Bryn. Bryn has just uh, really developed from uh, the time we saw her in October of last year until now. Uh, she's uh, put in a lot of hard work over the summer and uh, really developed into a good post player. 
Uh, of course, she hit the big basket at the buzzer last night. But again, that was Vicky getting a steal and uh, kicking it ahead to Tisha, and uh, Tisha finding Bryn uh, on the on the other block, and uh, she laid it up right at the buzzer to win it. So, uh, but Bryn's really I, I got to give her a lot of credit. She has uh, gone from uh, a project to uh, turned into somebody that's really really helping us this year, and uh, she's going to have a nice career, I think, this year and next year. Then our, our fifth starter is a freshman who uh, is, is just going to be a phenomenal player. Her name's Jora Epley. Uh, she's a 5'8 guard, and uh, she, uh, you know, she's learning the ropes. I think varsity's a big jump. She played JV last year as an eighth grader. But uh, Jora has the potential to be one of the better players we've, uh, we've ever coached. Uh, she continues to develop. She's... Uh, Got a chance to maybe get up around 5'11", and uh, really has all the skills that uh, that you need, and works on her game year round. Really, really a good player. So, so we've got you know we're looking right now to try to develop some players off the bench because uh, it's tough to go with just five. We got five really nice starters who can all score, who can all rebound, who can all handle the ball, but we we need to get some help off the bench, and we're trying to develop uh, Bella Woods and. Uh, Sydney Stock and Danny Catan, uh, get them to give us some uh, some good minutes. It's High School Sports Talk presented by VirginiaPreps.com on ESPN Radio 94.1. And we're joined by Larry Bowman. He's the head girls basketball coach at Bishop Sullivan, who's in action tonight at 7.30 p.m. in the Blue Bracket Championship at the Boo Williams Sportsplex against Atley, usually a contender uh, in the Richmond area. ESPN Radio 94.1 and Coach Bowman Lynn, uh, over 800 wins in his decorated career. Yeah, that's what uh, we're doing some figuring up earlier. And, and Larry, when you took the job at Bishop Sullivan, Jamie Frankenberry at the pilot wrote you at 788. And then counting last year and this year it puts you uh, well over 800 now. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, well, I mean, that's just, you know, you've been doing it a long time. So you're going to get wins. And fortunate to uh, have had some great players over the years. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, it's a nice honor. But uh, we, we just, uh, I can think of about probably 250 losses, too, so you got to count those, too. It's too <laughs> modest, Lenny. He's too modest. I know. I was saying in an earlier segment I was going to ask you this. Do you remember your first victory back in, what, 1983? Um, absolutely. It was. Uh, I was coaching at Green Run. Uh, I was actually coaching at Brandon Junior High, and the, and the coach at Green Run got sick, and uh, the principal at Green Run, Wiley French, called me up and said, uh, Coach, can you take the job at Green Run? Uh, our coach... Uh, you know, can't coach this season. This was like November 1st. And I said, sure, I'll do it. And, uh, and, uh, you know, I, I spent all of November watching every one of Bill Cochran's practices. And, uh, and we opened the season with Churchland and, and I just remember that we won. I couldn't tell you the <laughs> score or anything, but I know uh, we were one and oh, and that was, that was nice. Yeah. I was fortunate to work with, I had Bill Cochran and, and then Mark Butts, uh, two boys coaches that I worked with for about, I don't know, 25 years, I guess. And, uh, you know, when you're around guys like that and you can watch the things they do, it, it, uh, really helps you. And then I've got, I've got two terrific assistant coaches. I got Billy Stokes who's a, uh, a young guy with a lot of energy and, mm-hmm. uh, and really just what I need. And, uh, he's got a great basketball mind and Marty Campbell's our other assistant who is a, another tremendous help. So, you know, when you, the older you get, you, you got to be smart enough to surround yourself with uh, good assistant coaches, and uh, I've got two really good ones. So, well, very, very much so. And uh, Lynn, if you throw in uh, Cochran and Butts to go, Larry Bowman, you're looking at like 1,500 wins with those three guys there. You're looking at a bunch of victories. <laughs> what What keeps you going after all these years? Well, you know what? I, I just enjoy it. I enjoy practice. I enjoy being around the kids. Uh, you know, and you know, being retired. Uh, you know, I mean, you, you got to do something. You mm-hmm. can't just sit around and, uh, you know, watch games on TV. So uh, I, I did retire and took a year off, and uh, it was one of the worst winters of my life, uh, going out and watching games and, you know, wanting to be out there, wanting to be in the gym at practice time. So the opportunity to come back to Bishop Sullivan was a dream, and uh, fortunately I was lucky enough to uh, to get that and uh, – yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this a long time. Uh, uh, I hope I can, uh, as long as I'm having fun and as long as the kids can put up with me, I'm going to continue to do it. 
That means we got a, a thousandth win maybe in the future for Larry Bowman. Coach, we thank you so much for the time today on the program. I'm sure we'll get you back on the show in 2019. And best of luck to you and your ladies tonight as you take on Atley in the championship game. Go out there if you want to support uh, Bishop Sullivan again, 7.30 p.m. Blue Bracket Championship, Bishop Sullivan and Atley. Coach, thank you so much, and we'll talk soon. All right, I appreciate it, guys, and Happy New Year to you. Happy you New Year. Happy New Year. That's Larry Bowman, the great coach there at Bishop Sullivan for the girls' basketball program here with us on High School Sports Talk, presented by VirginiaPreps.com on ESPN Radio 94.1. Always great to chat with him and uh, catch up, and uh, I'll have to, by the next time he comes on, I'll have to, I'll have to put myself through the, uh, I don't know if it'll be misery or not, watching Love Actually. I'll have to have, to have a, you know. A thought on the movie or two. Lit, uh, you know, Lynn, Ed may have watched it by then. I'm sure you definitely will have watched it by then. Because uh, Charlotte will now put it on the to-do list. I don't know about that. <laughs> you might watch it and fall asleep midway you, through. You wouldn't believe the number of movies that are still DVR. She'll be, I told her this morning she'll be watching till Easter. Now, you know what I got for Christmas? I got this fire stick thing. I'm sure Thomas is familiar with that. You can watch all the different things. But for me, what I was jazzed up about, as I was getting told by someone that's you know informed with these things, but now I can watch all my games I watch on Huddle and YouTube on the on the Fire Stick thing on my TV, which that that got me so juiced up for that. So now when I've got a little dead time, I watch the game. I can just sit back and watch the game from my house, which will be fun. Yeah, you can move it from uh, from the laptop up yes. to the, the big screen. Yeah, give my laptop a couple a uh, few minutes to finally rest because I, I wear it out quite a bit. Well, we are just about out of time, Lynn. Uh, 2019 is coming here. Uh, a lot of sports to go over. The year is done for for 2018 in, in a couple days. And Thomas said it's. I was a little. I, misto- I made a mistake earlier. It's not 48, 49 hours. It's 61. And what is it? 60 got? now. It's 60. Oh, it's 60. It's counting down. It's getting also closer, known folks. As two days, 12 hours, and 33 minutes. And remember, if you're out there on the the highways and byways on the road, be safe, folks. Uh, make sure you're very safe. It's always dangerous out there sometimes around uh, New Year's time. So be safe and. Take care of yourself out there. And, uh, Lynn, Happy New Year to you. Look forward to seeing you in 2019. Well, we'll be here at some point. Hopefully, Ed will be back next week. We certainly hope so. Yeah, we send our best to uh, Coach Young today. Uh, his team in action go out there at Kings Fork. you got the Boo Williams Sports Plex. A lot of basketball to check out, and that's going to do it for High School Sports Talk, presented by VirginiaPreps.com. We thank Lynn Burke filling in for the coach, Ed Young, so admirably, and Thomas Simmons, the other side of the glass. I'm Matt Hafton. We'll talk to you next Saturday, January the 5th, 2019, on ESPN Radio 94.1.